What's going on, everyone? Thank you for joining us over here, Review Zero. Once again, the only place on Earth where you can feel like you're being stalked by Godzilla while reading the back of the VHS cover. Today, we are in beautiful Shinjuku, Tokyo, Japan, specifically on the eighth floor of the Hotel Gracery. That's right, that's where Godzilla lives today. So, apparently, we're filming in for. Uh, schlock and awe considering that their whatever role is uh, is going so we're going to be covering the kaiju catastrophe known as destroy all monsters but before we get into that What's going on, everyone? Thank you for joining us over here once again at Schlock and Awe. Wait, hold on. That's not my channel. Wait, hold on. Once again. Oh, well. I guess it is right. Well, thank you for joining us once again over here at Review Zero, the only place online that lets you feel like Godzilla is stalking you through the streets of Tokyo while reading the back of the VHS box. As always, my name is Race, and today we'll be bringing you the review for the Kaiju Classic Destroy All Monsters. Now, today's a little bit different because, again, we are filming for Schlock and Awe. We were filming on location. There was a little bit of a hiccup with our technical uh, setup that we had, so we're going to show you as much as we can. However, today's review is going to be a voiceover as well as a mix of different uh, video uh, clips that were taken and recorded by the Review Zero crew uh, while on location in Japan that covered a lot of different places that these different films, uh, including Destroy All Monsters, was actually filmed at. So it's going to be a little bit different, so you'll have to excuse us for the uh, ragtag, you know, kind of cobbled together video. I know it's not as... Uh, polished as what you're used to, at least with uh, us over here. But as far as Schlock and I, we are very, very touched that they let us go ahead and uh, sub in and uh, guest host for them today. So uh, Newt, Mets, and the rest of the crew over there, we love you guys so much and thank you very much for letting us be a part of this. So with all that sappy stuff out of the way, uh, let's look for the horizon. Let's get that atomic breath out and ready to rock and roll. So let's go. Well, watchers, it seems at this point we had a little bit of a technical difficulty with our video when we were shooting on location in Japan. So the rest of the video is going to be something a little bit different than what we typically do over here on Review Zero, and that's going to be just standard voiceover mixed with a bunch of different clips from Destroy All Monsters as well as some filler stuff that you can go ahead and check out from the different trips to Japan that the crew over here at Review Zero has taken over the course of the last year. So let's get on it. So, just as usual over here at Review Zero, we are giving credit where credit is due. That is correct. We are going to be going over every single little bit that the Gojira, or Godzilla franchise, has to offer. Specifically, Destroy All Monsters. So, as most of you know, the Godzilla franchise was created by Tomoyuki Tanaka, Eiji Tsuburaya, <laughs> as well as Ishiro Honda. Now... When we're looking at Destroy All Monsters, we are looking specifically at Kaiju Sho, uh, so Shingeki, um, which is a new all-out monster attack, uh, again, directed by Ishiro Honda. Uh, special effects was done by uh, Sadamasa, ya uh, Sadamasa um, uh, Arikawa as well as uh, supervision done by Edgy uh, Subaraya again. Now, for us over here at Review Zero, uh, Destroy All Monsters is pretty much our hands-down fan favorite. 
Um, again, it's a thrilling monster movie that brings together an impressive ensemble of, uh, of iconic kaiju characters for really one of the most epic showdowns that, you know, Toho ever did. I mean, directed by the master of the genre, you know, Mr. Honda. Uh, I mean, the film really delivers on its own promise of destruction, chaos, and awe-inspiring battles. I mean, it's really one that's going to leave most fans of the franchise exhilarated and really just glued to their seats. Um, So, the plot is a little different than what we're used to as opposed to just big kaiju coming in and blowing stuff up. The plot revolves around the awakening of the various gigantic monsters, the kaiju that we've seen in the legendary Gojira films as they wreak havoc on the major cities around the world. Now, mankind itself finds itself on the brink of annihilation, and the fate of humanity again rests on a team of determined scientists and military personnel who must find a way to stop the onslaught of these colossal creatures. Now, what sets Destroy All Monsters apart from its predecessors is its extensive roster of the kaiju. I mean, they threw everything at the wall with this one. I mean, even casual fans will be delighted to see classic monsters such as Mothra, Rodan, King Ghidorah, as well as many different others, which again, I don't need to tell you. Now, with their own unique abilities and powers, things get a little weird and they have a couple MacGuffins that kind of scale things down, but again, the sheer scale of the battles is pretty awe-inspiring. With massive cityscapes crumbling under the weight of the monstrous combatants, special effects are top-notch, creating a sense of realism that allows the viewers to really fully immerse themselves inside of the chaos unfolding on the screen. Despite the focus on the monstrous battles, the film itself does manage to incorporate the human aspect and the characters specifically within their own storylines. While the human plotlines may not be as engaging as the gigantic monster battles, they still provide a necessary anchor for the audience to offer moments of emotional connection amidst all the chaos. But again, the cast delivers solid performances with standout portrayals from both the scientists and the military personnel who bring a sense of urgency and determination to the roles. Now, what I will say is the pacing of the film is relentless. I mean, really. Rarely giving the audience a moment to be able to catch their breath. From the first destructive encounter to the climactic final battle, the action is nonstop and it really does keep you on the edge of your seat. The cinematography captures the grandeur and the scale of the battles, while utilizing wide shots to showcase the vast destruction and the awe-inspiring presence of the kaiju. Not to mention that the miniature work is, bar none, some of the best that was ever produced. Uh, However, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters does have a few minor flaws, as with most kaiju movies and Toho movies in general. Uh, The script could have delved deeper into the motivations of the human characters, allowing them for a little bit more, I guess you would say, emotional investment. Additionally, some of the viewers might find the sheer number of monsters overwhelming at times. I mean, I know that most of you don't know the difference between Gigan or Jet Jaguar or whatnot, unless you're really super duper into the films. So that is a little overwhelming even though they don't show up in here it's typically Ghidorah, Mothra, Rodan, uh, Gojira Um, but it does have a tendency of robbing some of the certain creatures of screen time that we might have wanted to see them uh, a little bit more but you know, you're gonna have to go ahead and watch the movie for yourself, figure it out, and see if it's something for you. However, for for us over here, Review Zero, uh, Destroy All Monsters is really one of the most thrilling of the kaiju movies that Toho put out, and it really does deliver on its promise of the epic battles and destruction. I mean, it does successfully bring together an impressive roster of kaiju, showcasing their immense power and leaving anybody who watches it and really fans of the franchise satisfied. While the human characters might take a backseat to the monster action, the film does do a little bit of compensation with the jaw-dropping special effects, which I'm sure that no one's going to be mad at. 
as well as the relentless pacing. Uh, for those of you who think that standard kaiju movies take a little bit of time to get up and going, this is right out of the gate. So, if you're a fan of colossal creatures and you want to witness a truly epic clash of titans, this one is an absolute must see. As always, my name is Race. I was your host for today's video, and a very special thank you to all of you who watch Review Zero, as well as every single one of you that have tuned in to check out Schlock and Awe and everything Mr. Wallen and the rest of his fantastic crew are pumping out for us. We're there for you, and we dig the hell out of all of you. So. Be good, be well, keep your eyes on the horizon, and make sure that whatever shadow is coming up over the uh, over the crest of any mountain or any uh, <laughs> any shoreline, be careful, be ready. Might be the day that uh, you become part of the battle. <laughs>